Hey guys, Caleb here with Catch the Fever Outdoors, and we're out here today on beautiful Kerr Lake, uh, also known as Bugs Island here in Virginia. Uh, we're doing a little bit of uh, uh, trolling right now with our player boards and uh, doing some back bouncing for uh, some big blues uh, on the back there. And while we were waiting on the bike, we thought, hey, let's do a little walkthrough of this Angler Quest 824 Catfish Edition pontoon. You've, if you've been following the Big Cat Fever Facebook page or if you follow the Angler Quest uh, pontoons page, you've seen some posts we've been making. Hadn't went into a lot of depth on the actual layout. So we thought we'd kind of do that for you right now and just kind of show you some key highlights on this boat that makes it such a great fishing boat. What we'll do is we'll start out, go around the outsides and then we'll end up back here at the front. If you have any questions at the end of the video or anything else you'd like to see, post it in the comments below and we'll go back over it and look at it for you. All right guys, we're starting here on the side wall, working our way to the back. We have here the double wall binary system and what makes this double wall system so nice and that you don't see it on a lot of pontoons? This is a, a, a key feature on these boats. And that there's three hatches on both sides. They allow additional storage. And, uh, you know, that, that's something that's very key. If, if you're any type of fisherman, if you have some uh, foul weather gear, uh, additional tackle, anything like that uh, to keep it out of the floor, out of your way, You've got a lot of storage right here. You can put that type of stuff in here. And like I said, each one, I got some hand rags in there. Uh, I got some spare clothes right there, uh, just in case it gets wet out here. We've also got some storage uh, here in the side. That's really nice, set a pair of needle nose, pliers, scale, anything like that, that's really nice. And uh, another key feature about the double wall system on the Angler Quest boats is it allows you to have the track system. The track system is an awesome thing. Uh, you know, you can mount these Trax Tech rod holders that adjust to just about any position that you want. Uh, you just give them a pop and adjust them up and down. Pull up to adjust them left to right, and you can set them however you want. You can also add a lot of attachments. I mean, you can really go with this. Uh, right here is a drink holder, some pliers. Uh, so, I mean, it, it really frees up a lot. If you need to move a, uh, a rod holder that slides up and down uh, in the middle, it allows you to be able to take it off to add or take away additional uh, rod holders. So that's something that's, uh, that's really nice. Twist these knobs, lock it down, you're good to go. Also, you have your, uh, your, your trolling tree right here is what I call it. And uh, you're able to, to adjust these by pulling a knob, adjust them up or down and uh, lock them into place. You can hear that snap. It's really secure. You don't have to worry about these uh, going anywhere when you're traveling, uh, either you're trolling or if you're going down the lake. These things are really solid. They're not going anywhere. And uh, the, the really the, the, the great function of these is they really allow you to be able to pull uh, your planer boards a lot more efficiently because uh, you're getting that rod tip away from the boat and able to pull those planer boards out further away from the boat uh, using this setup right here and it, it makes it really nice. We've got two on each side today. Uh, you could use up to three on each side but uh, it's just me and uh, Dylan out here today so we're just using two on each side, four all together, back bouncing with two rods out the back. But you can use up to six of the uh, trolling uh, boards on each side. Also, another thing you can step on back here is you'll see the uh, the cutting board. The cutting board is great. I mean, it hangs out over the water really nicely. You can chop up your bait. And like I said, it hangs off the side so you're able to rinse it all back down, uh, keeping the blood and guts out from inside of your boat and letting it go out into the water. That's another thing about this track system. It allows you to add accessories just like this. You can also mount down riggers if you're a striper fisherman anything like that you can also that is an option you can also incorporate here as well um, this this hatch right here uh, one of my favorite things i have a lot of favorite things on this boat but this is one of them uh, if i'm drifting here i get hung up and i need to retie usually you'll see me sitting right here you hit this button that knob pops out you give it a twist bam what i use these hatches for is my tackle they got my drifting weights my hooks Everything like that, I've got it conveniently stowed uh, right here in these hatches. I can slide them back in there after rigging up. 
and then I can shut that. And again, my tackle is out of the floor in this uh, double wall system. It's not sliding around, moving around, all that. It's, it's, it's very organized and well put. So that's a great thing. This is on both sides of the boat. Uh, so I've got some planer boards, some Zach Royce planer boards in that hatch that's just like this one. Uh, I just pop them out, assemble them, good to go, and uh, it makes it really nice. I had mentioned being able to wash down your bait board, and here's a really nice thing on this boat. If you step to the back, you'll see a switch right here, and you pop that lid off, and bam, right here, you got your wash down. Once you uh, purge out all the air, this is a really powerful pump. Uh, that they put on this boat. I mean, it's almost like a pressure washer. So uh, you can get rid of all them bait scales, everything, and, uh, and really wash the boat down after a day of fishing or in between bait and up. Uh, like I said, it's a really powerful pump. Uh, it's a 70 PSI pump, really strong, and uh, it help you keep your boat clean. So that's less, less cleanup you gotta do at the end of the day. Like I said, that stores conveniently right in here. And, uh, and you pop that lid on and you're good to go. I'm gonna leave that out for now just because we just got out here fishing and I know I'm gonna need it uh, today. Uh, coming back to the very back, you have the very nice Angler Quest logo. This is a bait cooler. Uh, most of the time I'll keep it right there. So while I'm cutting up, I can grab some additional bait when I'm baiting up my hooks, the slime drips back in the cooler. Uh, but even if I put the cooler here when we're traveling, you still have a lot of space in this walk away. I mean this uh, walkthrough right here. So, uh, you know, one guy asked me, he said, uh, between the cushion, the, the uh, resting area, and the back wall, how much space do you have? And, I mean, there's there's a ton of walkthrough space back here. Uh, this cooler, uh, you know, sitting right here, even a cooler, uh, a 45 quart cooler, um, you still got place to walk through. So there's a lot of walkthrough space here in the back. You're not cramped, you're not having to go up to the front and go around. A lot of walk through space. Uh, the the sitting on this boat is phenomenal. I mean, you can sit here, kick your feet up, and uh, watch your rods if you're out fishing on the river, or if you're doing like we're doing today, uh, out here trolling and uh, back bouncing with baits bounce along the bottom back there. Uh, you can really sit here and sit comfortably, which if you're sitting comfortably, you're able to fish a lot longer. It's kind of like hunting. You're in a tree stand, it's not very comfortable. Chances are you might not stay out there as long. If you're out on the water in something that doesn't allow you to, to feel comfortable pulling all-nighters uh, like we do a lot of times or all day you know you don't go in feeling achy because angler quest gives you some really nice furniture to sit on and not only is it really nice furniture but it's functional as well functionality brings me to my next point and that is my favorite feature on this boat and this is the 70 gallon max airflow recirculating live well so let's take a look at this and uh, let me show you. Look down in here, here's some brim that we just caught uh, right when we got out here. There's probably uh, 12, 14 brim in there. We plan on uh, coming out here using these for some live bait. Uh, if you're wondering um, how big it is for if you're a tournament angler, uh, if you're having weigh-ins with five fish weigh-ins or, or two, uh, two fish that you might catch that are good size, uh, we have another video that we put on the Big Cat Fever Rod Series Facebook page and we caught a giant uh, and we put it in that live well and you can easily fit uh, easily fit two uh, 60 pound fish in there for if you're a tournament angler, if you're just a weekend warrior, you're going out there, you're looking for a live well to preserve your catch for when you get back into shore, it can hold a ton of eater sized fish. I mean, no problem at all. Uh, that live well works really good. I will actually come up here to the helm and I will flip on um, the, uh, the live well feature, I mean the live well pump, and I'll let you see how this works. We'll come back in here. You can see you've got the fill uh, up at the very top right hand side. And like I said, this is a max airflow recirculating live well. And uh, what that means is you have an air port right here on the side of the cooler. If you look at that right there, uh, it sucks in the air there and it introduces it into the water. Uh, bringing the oxygen levels up on those fish and uh, we fished a tournament on the Mississippi River and uh, we caught a fish 10 minutes into the tournament, fished seven hours all day and that fish was so lively when it come out of here it literally got dropped twice uh, because it was so lively coming up out of that live well. So it really 
preserves your catch for a really long time, whether you're using it for bait fish like we're doing today or if you're in a tournament setting. All right, so as you come on around here, we talked about the walkway here. Uh, you've got a convenient uh, measuring board. Uh, on this boat model that I'm using here today, has a Suzuki 200 four-stroke on the back of it. This boat that we find uh, will push this boat around 43 to 44 miles per hour. That's loaded down, live well full, all your gear, and that's rolling. Uh, you know, Angler Quest really did a good job at addressing all the issues that would maybe hinder you from buying a, a pontoon boat to fish out of. Uh, a lot of the things that you you, you try to uh, to get around in a pontoon is one, the layout and the functionality of a boat. It's not always there in a pontoon. Uh, two, not everybody is looking to go really slow. Nothing wrong with control, you know, a smaller motor where you just kind of put along enjoy the day uh, no problem with that but they've made these boats to where if you want to go with a bigger motor if you're looking to fish tournaments or or, 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 or get out of the weather quick if a storm blows in you can really uh, you know get there in a hurry with these motor options they have like I said this this pushes around 43 44 miles an hour consistently that we're finding um, and it's it's a great option so uh, come on around here, and uh, I just mentioned, you step on around here, I just mentioned the, uh, one of the reasons that might we keep you from buying a pontoon is the layout uh, being one of them. And Angler Quest has addressed that as well. Uh, this center console uh, model really frees up in between the aisle where you can walk around. This boat, the whole footprint is fishable. A lot of other uh, pontoon models, you may have too much cushion here or too much cushion here or the, the layout things kind of get in the way you got a rod holder here but you got to reach over a bunch of stuff to get it with this center console uh, design that angler quest has put together in this 824 catfish edition you have total fishability on all the way around on the outside of this boat you don't have anything in your way to get to that rod so that makes it a uh, a really nice thing when you're out on the water trying to be productive on the water um, another thing is uh, there's infinity, uh, this boat has an infinity sound system. Uh, there's speakers all throughout the boat. That's a nice option if you're out here with your family. Uh, I certainly take my wife. She absolutely loves this boat. Um, you know, you can play some music, really enjoy the day, enhance your, uh, your fishing trip a lot with that. So it sounds really good. Um, and then you have here the captain chair right here. So if you come around to the front to the consoles and uh, you can see, They've really got all your switches, really nice, really convenient. Uh, you got your stereo, uh, you got your um, your docking lights, which is basically your your headlights. You've got your uh, navigation lights. You got your courtesy lights built into the floor. Your live well fill, and um, uh, also additional accessories. Uh, your circulating uh, max airflow system for if you've got some fish in the live well just hit that uh, they got everything you need right here in this control panel a little uh, little spot for your cell phone wallet keys stuff like that uh, here's the dry storage uh, where you can fit paperwork stuff like that um, so that's really nice as well they have a, uh, a, a cell phone holder here which I have my cell phone right here and uh, that's really nice it can get it out of the way it's not sliding all over the console and, and falling on the floor that really grabs it I can link it up to the Bluetooth system here and uh, play all your favorite tunes. So it's really nice. They got this uh, uh, this standing rail right here or a foot rest when you're going down the water. That's really comfortable. Uh, the the uh, the panel right up here up front. We got our voltage, our fuel, our RPMs, and our trim. You're not always able to see that motor. You can see just the top of it, but if you get into some shallow water like we do sometimes, where we're catching bait. You can trim that up and find out how, how high your motor is up out of the water. So that's really nice being able to see that without having to look back. Um, another thing is the, the built-in dash system for your fish finder. This, is, this will accommodate a Humminbird Helix 12 or uh, Lowrance HDS 12 models, carbon and those new systems. This will fit nicely up there as well. So let's come around to the front and this will be wrapping it up here for us today, uh, showing you the layout and there's still a lot of things 
uh, that we haven't shown you guys that we're going to be going into uh, more in-depth stuff uh, as the months go by and we fish out of this boat more and more. But uh, this is just kind of a, a quick walk around for all you guys who've been asking and uh, we wanted to show it, show it to you. Uh, one of the things here, this you've got your storage right here up under here. Um, I got all kinds of random stuff in here, some clothes, a light, uh, some food, drinks, stuff like that right under there. Uh, this one I keep all my life jackets and, uh, and, and stuff right here in that. Um, so, you know, life jackets, throw cushions. You got your captain's chairs here, um, very comfortable. So, makes it really nice. This is uh, where your, my wife comes and she lays out and friends and family come out here, really uh, come sit right here to enjoy the day. And, uh, you know, Brad and Angler Quest he calls this boat the reverse mullet with the way it's set up. You've got all your party in the front and your business in the back. When you uh, fold this bimini top up, it comes all the way here to the rail. And the bimini top that's right behind the camera here uh, that you can see, this bimini top folds forward and joins with this second one. And you've got full coverage from right here. That's my cell phone. You've got full coverage from right here all the way to the front. So it goes back to that uh, reverse mullet, like Brad mentions. You've got all the shade, all the luxury uh, relaxation features here in the front. And then when you come to the back, you're ready to start reeling in on some fish. Also, this is a tri-tune uh, and it's, it, it, it handles rough water beautifully. We've also got some videos uh, out on the James River, which is a tidal river, uh, showing how well these boats go through some really rough water. I've got this boat in a foot or less uh, I have actually one video uh, on our social media, Big Cat Fever uh, Facebook page. We're, we're going in a, a, a creek catching bait in about one and a half foot. We actually got it in one foot, no problem. Don't have any issues with that. Um, another feature that I, I failed to mention is the, uh, the trolling motor option here. Uh, this is a Minn Kota uh, Tarova 112 thrust. Um, that works really well. That'll pull this boat about three mile an hour, which is plenty of power uh, and, and speed if you need to, um, if you're moving you know, from spot to spot, if you decide to do a little bit of casting or anything like that. I keep a, uh, a Yeti cooler right here in front of this console. You can also get an, a, a bait tank um, to keep your bait lively uh, if you need the live well and uh, some bait, uh, you know, to keep them alive and keep them separated. That's definitely an option too. And uh, well guys, I, I, I think I just about showed you all uh, that I could just in a quick walk around and there's still a lot of stuff we can talk about but uh, if you have any questions feel free to shoot us a message uh, and, and to, you know if you have any questions about the video or anything we didn't cover and I'd be glad to talk with you further and you can find us at the Big Cat Fever Rod Series Facebook page um, my name is Caleb Page you can shoot me a message you know we'd be glad to talk with you about it and we really want you to consider uh, your next boat purchase, an Angler Quest boat. Thank you so much for joining us, and we'll catch you next time.